Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to be restoring or repairing this challenge hedge trimmer. Stay tuned. So this should be a simple fix. Basically this is my neighbours and he was out the other day cutting his hedge. Heard a bang and this is what happened. This can be repaired quite easily. You could strip this wire back, reconnect it, solder it, put some silicone on there and some heat shrink and the job will be done. So this is my hedge trimmer and as you guys can see I did the same thing myself in the past and I've repaired it so it is possible but with this one what I was thinking is because it's quite high up could we remove this casing and rewire basically cut off the the broken part of the wire and just take it from here directly to the motor itself so let's get this case off and see how it's attached So it turns out this is going to be a much easier video than I actually anticipated. So it's actually a block connector. Now I was hoping to do some soldering. I thought maybe some sort of board in here that I can solder to. But yeah, I think it's going to be quite basic to be fair. So anyway, let's get these screws out. Let's remove these screws here and let's get this wire cut off. So let's get this cut off where you spliced into it with the, the cutters. What I'll do is I'll probably use that to help pull back the wire. That should be enough. See it's melted a bit of the plastic there, the outer covering. So you want to make sure you get past all that. You don't want any Damage wires. Let's trim this off nice and tidy. Should be fine. Let's give it about probably that. Simple as that. Right, so let's put this wire back in. You'll have the white, which is the blue, and the yellow is alive. So we'll. Screw these and put this in here. Like so. Now I'm going to check the fuse because the fuse may have blown. So curiosity where I remember. You don't have to do this, you can just plug it back into the mains. That'll do the same thing, but yeah, fuse is fine. Yeah, just plug it back in. If it doesn't work, check the fuse. And just to make sure that the brown is properly connected which is the live, so neutral and live. So I'll go from the, the live to the brown and the neutral. That goes to the back one. So that's fine. Now 
I guess so you don't have to do all that. It's just uh, nice to check before you put all back together. Not that this is a hard job, or that it's even difficult to take the bits, but it's always nice to know. Screw this back in. Makes a change working on something electrical. It seems to be engines these days, but... I figured it was going to go in the bin, so I said I'll fix it for him. It's a five minute job. He gets to save a bit of money, so... Make sure this is nice and tight, because you do not want that pulling out. And that, guys, is basically it. Cable is now complete. Let's get rid of all this rubbish that's in there. Essential, but just a bit of oil. It's a tiny bit there, just to help keep it lubricated. Get that lubricated. And that should, that should be it. So a moment of truth. Let's see if this goes back. <laughs> Shouldn't do. So you don't have to do this. And it's quite a cheap saw, to be fair. It's not really an expensive one, but it's the end of the season now. He won't be using this till next year, so if anything, it just preserves it, stops any rust or anything. And it just lubricates it all, so next year when he needs to use it, it should be ready to go. It's pretty thick oil, this. You don't have to use this type of oil, even WD-40 engine oil, anything like that, chain oil. Um, I'm using chainsaw oil. This stuff is, if you ever used it, it's like it's like syrup. It's probably the best way to describe it, but it's it's good and it really does stick and it, it lasts a long time too, which is also what you want. So the cable's all wrapped up. Then just put on the protective shield, like so. And there you go guys, that is all ready for storage. This can go away now until next April, May and should be hopefully in working shape for next year. So these aren't much to buy, they're probably 20, 30 pounds. They really are cheap to pick up, but it is nice when you can take something that is you know, destined to be thrown away in the trash and repair it quite simply, well, for free, basically. It took five minutes. Uh, basically, you got a bit of a shorter wire, but let's face it with these, you have to use extension anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. But yeah, quite simply, rerun the wire to the socket inside there and you have yourself a working unit once again. So hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Um, hopefully it's helped someone out. Maybe you've just cut into your wire and you've just spent 60, 70 pounds on a good quality one and you think, oh, this is, this is rubbish now. What am I going to do? How can I fix this? Hopefully this has helped you guys out. Nice, simple fix. So guys, we're going to call this one here. So like always, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel for future videos and I will see you in the next one.